Hi there guys, Mr. Kerman here. Today I'm going to take us through um, a few uh, examples of how to answer some questions for the reading comprehension on fossils. So just uh, our learning objective today is just to answer questions like this. So first thing you'll need to do is read all of the text on fossils. So this is going to be different for some of you from others. So in a minute, I'll give you a chance to pause the video and do that. Then we're going to read one question at a time, find the answer in the correct piece of text and then write the answer. Some of the questions you will need to use the text to write an answer of your own devising. Um, and these are called inference questions, but we'll uh, go through those in a minute. Right, so first thing you need to do is read all of the text. So pause the video and then we'll have a look at the first question. All right, so the first question, number one, what does a paleontologist study? Well, the first thing that stands out to me for this question is the word paleontologist. Oh, nice purple there. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go right back to the beginning and I'm going to scan the text for words beginning with P, paleontologist. That's plants, nothing like plants again. Uh, people there, and there we go. Uh, so I've got paleontologists here. So, yeah, you found it. And it's also down here as well. So I'm going to read both of these sentences. People who study fossils are called paleontologists. Paleontologists started studying fossils 200 years ago. So we've only known about dinosaurs for 200 years. Well, just go back and double check my question. What does a paleontologist study? It gives me my answer. Sorry. It gives me my answer quite clearly there. A paleontologist studies fossils. So... I'll write that as a full sentence. I'm on a touchpad mouse, so I'm only going to type it. A paleontologist, I spelled that right, studies fossils. Remember my capital, my full stop. So, next one. How come the fossilised animals or plants haven't been eaten by other animals? Now, this is a slightly more difficult question. So we're kind of, I'm focusing in on this bit and this bit here. So fossilised animals or plants haven't been eaten by other animals. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. Well, this just gives me a bit on dinosaurs and an introduction. Nothing useful there. So I'm seeing a lot of the word fossil there but nothing about animals eating things now if i have a look in how a fossil is made i'm just going to read this when a plant or animal dies their body can sink into the mud or be buried by sand this usually happens at the bottom of the sea when this happens it doesn't disappear when it is underground water and minerals leak into the bones and where bits of body used to be now i'm not getting an awful lot on other animals eating things here but what i have found here is when a plant or animal dies their body sinks into the mud or is buried by sand and it happens at the bottom of the sea now it doesn't mention anything about being eaten by other animals but i can use this uh, this information here to answer the question so fossilized let's spell that right Fossilised animals or plants are not eaten by other animals because, and I'll go back to my information I highlighted, their bodies, when they die, sink into the mud or is buried by sand, and it usually happens at the bottom of the sea. So there are my two answers. Fossilised animals or plants are not eaten by other animals because... They are usually buried by mud or sand and they sink to the bottom of the sea. There we go, my answer there. Now these are the more inference type questions and they really test your understanding of the text and how well you've read it. So it's very important when you read this text to make sure you read it nice and carefully, nice and slowly. Okay, right. That is all to the, for today's lesson. Now you should have eight more questions to answer and I look forward to seeing these when we get back. Okay, thank you, Year 6.